Well, hey everyone. This is Grace of GB Maltese, and I have some really cool looking trays to show you today. Some of you remember this tray that my nephew made for me. And I asked him, I said, could you make me some more? Because I was going to be going down there to visit my sister. And they live south of me. And the only thing I asked him to do different was to make the sides a little bit taller. So that when I shake my trays, they the, the little drills don't come out, fly out as easily. One thing, I use this tray all the time now. One thing I really like is these lids don't just slide off. Um, he did make another change. He made the little handle here a little bit bigger. Easier to grasp. Get it in there. Now, I asked him, I said, could you put hummingbirds or some kind of bird on it? He got a hummingbird for me. I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, there was one little trick I wanted to show you guys. If you ever have, um, now these, again, see how nice this lid stays on there? Really nice. And I am just had him put some different things. So you can see he can put all kinds of things. I'm still trying to talk him into opening an Etsy shop. And he <laughs> he's thinking about it. Um, he's very talented. I said, he makes toys, 3D toys. I said, put different kinds of things in there. I said, people would love it. Such talent. It should not go wasted. So he did. He surprised me with the hummingbird. And as you can see, these are taller. Now, there's one thing I wanted to show you that I do. Sometimes when your drills are in your trays and you're rolling them back and forth back, they're going to sometimes get staticky and not roll as good in your tray. This is one thing that I do is I get a dryer sheet and I just wipe it out. Doesn't matter what kind of dryer sheet you use. And I just wipe it down and those drills will slide more easily. So, I just thought I'd share that little tip, something that I do. Now, I'm going to show you the different ones he did for me. I had him do some all in one color, and he's going to make some that you can just get a plain lid, because when you have things engraved in there, um, they're not really engraved. I, I don't want to go into the whole process, but it takes a little more time. So. He's, he, I told him, I said, you can just put different prices if, if you don't want a lid on it at all. Some people don't. Of course, you know, you need the little thing here, and it's got the spout. These trays empty very nicely. I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, here's number one. And he knew I really liked the hummingbird, so he did me one in all yellow. I wanted yellow because, to me, it's happy, bright, sunshiny. And again, he has these are very nice. I'm going to show you how the drills line up in there in just a moment. Look how nice these lids stay on, though. I mean, you have to really shake to make those things fall off. When you just do it like this, nothing. If I do that, and, you know. So, you can shake them up real good in there if you want to. But you can shake them up without that lid on there. Now, this next one, oh, this one is my favorite. It is so cool. And I do have drills in this one because I'm using it. Look at this lid. Look at the wings and things on here. He did something incredible. He took two different um, colors. I don't know how he does it. And he does one color and then a clear color and then he put another color on top. This is my favorite. Now this does take him a little more time because he has to be watching it and then put that. But isn't that cool? And look, when the lid is on, I can see the color of my drills in there. Oh, let's see if you can see that. See? You can see the colors of the drills. I can you can see them moving around in there. So look at this. Okay, one thing I did find is whoops. 
is to go ahead and put it at this end where the spout is and then come back this way and shake, 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 just lightly shake and tap and you'll get them lined up very nicely and they're turned in the right direction. I just love these. I can diamond paint then I just go back when I'm ready so you still have them lined up. You can roll it back and forth. Now, I want to show you how easily these come out of the spout. Because uh, I'll put it in the first one he made for me. I still love that one. Okay. You just look how easily these come out because it's just they just slip and slide through that hole. I thought, oh, you know, that, I wonder if that hole's too small. I mean, he could make them bigger if I wanted, but I like it this way. So I don't have just a ton of them at one time. Now you can pour them out with the lid on if, you know, you so desire and you can shake them around. But um, these come out very nicely. Okay. And um, when you have little to ninety bags that you're putting these in, it's nice to have a smaller spout. You don't need something real big. That's going to keep it from, you know, doing what you want. And then I'll just pour it back in this one. And you can see it does go very easily. And I'm just going to do it like this because I'm putting it, putting it in another tray. You can do it that way too. So, there we go. I love this with, isn't that cool? Because he can do that with different things and different colors behind it. So I was so excited when I saw that one. Now here's another one he did. And he did all silver. Because he hadn't really used the silver before. And um, he put a whole lot of print on here. So you could see what it would look like with a lot. And then a personalized I like the personalized ones and the pictures so much but this one says excuse the mess I craft here <laughs> but I craft here uh, how true is that and he did it like this also excuse the mess but I craft here and it's harder to see these right here because there's such tiny print but he was just kind of playing around with it. And again, what he did is he used one color and then put another color on top. So if you wanted it personalized, like if you wanted to send it to your aunt or your sweetheart, you could have um, to my sweetheart or <laughs> their name. These would be, I thought these would be fabulous Christmas presents. And... Like I said, it does cost extra to have. It would cost extra because he's going to watch it a little closer to get that color underneath it. But wouldn't that make an absolutely cool gift? Now, he said he would just do a few of these at a time. So, um, because he has another job. <laughs> he he um, is an engineer and he has another job and he has um, his wife and they have a three-year-old and expecting another one in December. But he loves messing around with his 3D printer. He has made some cool things for my sister, which is his mom, and that she uses around the kitchen. And I told him, I said, you know, make a name so that it's not just diamond painting trays, because he likes to do all kinds of experimentations. Tell me what you think about the trays. Um, you could get it plain, you know, you can mix and match colors, like the tab and all of that kind of thing. But, what do you think? I'm not sure what all kinds of designs he could put. He would have to. I told him, I said, that's something you could put in the shop, you know, as kind of a drop down. I still love my Aunt Grace. But, I do like, and you can see a big difference in the size of these two. Um, where I had him make this a little bit taller. There is a difference. But I wanted to show them to you because I'm so proud of them. I just am. 
Um, this has like a little thing to help you if you need to put your nail in there and pull it out. But really, that's all you have to do. And I can turn this upside down, whatever, and they don't fall out. I wanted to share this with you because if he does open a store on Etsy, I will definitely let you know. I'll let you know the name. I, I gave him some ideas for names. I told him, I said, just do more than um, diamond painting trays because, hey, people like to use anything <laughs> that is e uh, help them out around the house. So. I love all the different colors. He's going to get more. I might ask him to do me one in green with purple behind it. Mm. Ooh, because of the, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just blabbing now. But tell me what you think about the trays. I love them. I love using it. This is these are all I use now, and it's not just because. He made them. They're just easy for me to use. I just, you know, roll it back and forth. And I just go through and pick them up. Easy to do. Real easy to do. And, like I said, you can put the lid on. Shake them up all you want. And then, you do this. So they're ready to, I usually single place, so um, I just enjoy it. It's more, I'm not in a race, okay? <laughs> but if you multiply, multi-place, or multi-place, whatever you want to say it, this would be perfect. Anyway, I'll let you know if he decides to open a shop. And I just had to share this with you, because I love them. Wait, you guys take care. And set them all out. I'm going to put my Aunt Grace one in the center so you can kind of see the difference. Anyway, you guys take care. I love you. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.